Hello everybody, I am James. This is Powerless Poland. Alright, Greater Nobles. I'm gonna go ahead and give the Greater Nobles a privilege. I took another idea group. I took free trade. It gives me a relations slot and then helps my economy a little bit. The Ottomans attacked Croatia again. So I'm thinking I'm gonna attack the Ottomans. They're allied with uh, Kanem Bornu, Isfahan, Shirvan, Tehran. They might not be able to go through Karakalu. That'd be nice. So Tehran and Isfahan would be stuck. Shirvan could come up here. Kanem Bornu's. actually over here, so they're pretty far away. Even if they can get access to us, it's going to take them a long time to walk over here. I'll do... Twenty-five percent aggressive expansion for provinces. Seventy-five percent cost reduction. I think I'll do the same thing as last time. Do a liberate the faithful CB. For this province. So I want everybody to attach. I'm going to actually move my troops over here. That would be the group that I want everybody to attach to. I think it's in Bassarabia. And then I think I'll only take from the Greater Nobles. I'll only take troops from the Greater Nobles this time, instead of the Greater Nobles and Lesser Nobles. I got those uh, events again to switch governments. So they forced me to go to an elective monarchy. And now they switched back. So. Okay. Snip, snap, snip, snap. Go ahead and start this. Go ahead and take that province really quickly. Everybody else should get on this troop. I'll go to the Greener Nobles. I'll do full support. Take money from the burgers. And then I'll go ahead and restrict looting. That'll give me a discipline advantage over the Ottomans. I'm going to retreat behind this fort until I get till I get all these troops over here. Let's go ahead and roll a second commander. We have seven army traditions, so it's not gonna be good. One, one, two, one. Not bad, actually. Well, considering we have 7.7. .7. 
army tradition. I think that's because we have uh, leadership ideas, actually. So we get guaranteed siege and maneuver. So that actually wasn't that bad, actually. Because I only had two guaranteed pips. Wait for all these troops to come in. Lithuania's vassals are eager. There's really nowhere to put this stack where they won't get attritioned. There's too many, too many vassal troops. Uh, Lithuania. So you have a lot of troops, so... I want you to siege down this province. I think I'll do the same thing, make my way for Constantinople. And off. Our nation's rank has changed. We are now significant. We are in a cultural. We are in a cultural union of West Slavic culture. All West Slavic cultures are now accepted in our realm. a lot of West Slavic cultures that don't exist anymore. Or that we don't have provinces with. I think we have some Silesian. Nope, that's German Silesian. We have one Silesian province and two German Silesian provinces in Bohemia. Former Bohemia. Yeah, I don't think that really does much for us. All right, Lithuania, you go there. I will follow behind. Rebels. That's unfortunate. They spawn in that province. We got a lot of rebels. Serbian separatists over here, Walking separatists over here, humanist heretics down in the Morea. That's actually Karakianlu. Fight those galleys. That is a lose lose situation. Plotsk. Yeah. 
as Fort's uh, hang-up. Bojaka. As a plague. Our legitimacy. Is tanking. We can shift those guys down. Seventy eight percent status quo. Well, there's the Ottomans. They just totally ignored this for it. I guess because it borders that one. And they can take that province. Um, it's what a four. Send these guys back up there. These guys are going to go over there. There's a lot of rebels over here. I don't know what humanistic heretics would do. I don't think they would... I don't think they would lose that territory. Unless somebody else has a core in it. Nobody else has a core in these provinces. So I don't think this is really going to... Unless it releases Hellas. It's probably not going to do much. Send those guys down south to siege that province. Just have to watch, make sure no uh, no Ottoman troops come up here. There's an Ottoman troop. Perfect. They're going to retreat back over. Looks like they pieced them out. They still lost territory. I don't think they had more than 10 war score, but they always... Hungary seems to always lose territory. They lost three provinces. It's kind of amazing, actually. I'll send these guys to take Plovdiv. What? Gotinjin is the emperor. Interesting. They have 29,042-ish 
42-ish thousand. I don't know how many left over here. I'm wondering how many Ottoman troops are in the European side. Because if there's none over here, then I'll have these guys go and siege. Of course, I don't want them fighting rebels. Oh, there's some stacks over here. Do any of these guys want to peace out? Cannon Bornu does. That's fine. Nova Sil will get conquered. Sill the plunging bag. We have gained Dobergio with the tacit accord of other courts. Um. Okay, I guess. We have war dynamism. The White Horde didn't have war dynamism. I mean, if I can give these provinces to the White Horde and have them take them. I don't want to spend 30 dip, though, on this province. Plus, I don't want the province myself. And I don't think the Ottomans have much money to uh, buy it back, so no. If the uh, White Horde wants to take them... Alright, we grabbed Constantinople. Grab that. Actually, if Lithuania wants to go back and fight some of those guys and fight their rebels. I'm going to tell them to be passive. I don't think they're actually going to come over here and do anything, but maybe... There's a new birth. So we lose pretty much all of our war exhaustion. Oh yeah, they did grab this. Okay. They didn't have war dynamism before. that's pretty much all of the provinces I would give to the White Horde, because I don't want them having too much, because they do have loyalty problems. They did get this province, which is what I'm fearful of, them grabbing these provinces through rebels, because it actually increases their liberty desire. I don't want them to grab the, the war goal. That'd be pretty bad. Because that constitutes 14. Fourteen war score. Where are their armies?
They have 30, 39,000 troops with no manpower. They also have Armenian separatists over there, humanistic heretics here, Croatian separatists, Serbian separatists, Wallachian separatists. And we have uh, practically no war exhaustion, so I might stay in this for a little bit. Try and get these provinces to uh, flip back to their original owners. But uh, for now, I'm going to end this part here and pick up the next part. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.